Hi, thanks for joining me. I am very, very, very happy today. Last night I hit 100 subscribers, so I'm very, very thankful to absolutely everyone who has subscribed. A massive thank you if you are. It's, it's the first milestone of my YouTube channel, and I'm, yeah, I'm over the moon. Onwards and upwards, though. Hopefully the next one will be 200 subs. Let's see how quickly we can get to that milestone. Um, yeah, I'm excited, and this is the start of something new. I really enjoy making these videos, and, it's glad to know, and I'm glad to know uh, that people enjoy watching them. So, yeah. Another quick announcement from me before I get going is that the Oxford University Math Society, otherwise known as the Invariants, are currently running a competition, and they're doing this until the end of summer, where every week they put forward three different maths problems, and the people at the end, oh, the top three people at the end who have solved the most correctly will win a prize, the top prize being some Apple AirPods. And the great thing about this is you don't actually have to be an Oxford University student to take part, you just have to really enjoy maths. You don't have to be an Oxford student, you don't have to be a maths student either. Just uh, someone who's willing to have a go at the problems. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, but yeah, go and check it out. And if you can't solve the problems, every week on Sunday I'll be releasing some solution videos for you all. Uh, so you can come back and join me and see how the problem was to be tackled. Anyway, I'll stop jibber-jabbering. Jibber-jabbering? I'll stop waffling and get on with today's video. I'm going to be looking at this bizarre sum here. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 uh, plus so on. Adding up all the positive integers. What on earth does it equal? Now, Number Farm made a really cool video about this, and the link for that will be in the description below. And um, spoiler alert, they show that this sum here equals minus 1 over 12. So if you haven't seen that video already, please do check it out. It's, it's very fascinating. And Black Pen Red Pen also made a response video to that video. And another spoiler alert, he showed that this sum here equals minus an eighth. And again, the link for that will be in the description below. Today, though, I'm going to show that it actually equals a third value, not minus a twelfth, not minus an eighth. Something else. So I'm just going to crack on. Let's call this sum here S. Okay, so S is equal to the sum of the positive integers. Let's first say double S, so 2S. If I double 1, I get 2. Double 2, I get 4. Double 3, I get 6. And I get all the even positive integers. Okay, now I'm just going to write this line uh, the same, except I'm going to add a bunch of zeros to it. But that's fine, because adding zero to any number doesn't change it. So I'm firstly going to write 0, then I'm going to bring this 2 down here, then write another 0, then bring this 4 down here, add another 0, then bring this 6 down here, and so on. So I'm copying this line onto this line, except I'm putting a 0 in between each digit. Okay? And obviously the left-hand side stays, stays the same. Now I'm going to look at this equation here, and this equation here, and consider the difference of the two. I'm going to do this line minus that line. So on the left hand side, 2s minus s, that's just s. On the right hand side, I get 0 minus 1, well, that's minus 1. 2 minus 2, that's 0, so that cancels. 0 minus 3, that's minus 3. 4 minus 4, that cancels. 0 minus 5 is minus 5, then minus 7, and then so on. I get the negatives of all the odd numbers and all the even numbers here cancel. Okay, well, I can actually take out a factor of minus 1 from this. So I can write this as minus 1 plus 3 plus 5, plus 7, plus 9, plus so on. So s is equal to the negative of the sum of all the positive odd numbers, which in itself is quite remarkable. But we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Let's call this sum here r. So we've shown that s equals minus r. So r is just the sum of the positive odd numbers. Right, so we've got s equals minus r. I'm just going to write that up here. So now, if we can work out what r is, then we can work out directly what s is by just putting a minus sign in front of whatever r is. So our task now is to work out or evaluate r. Okay, so let me just write out what r is again. It's the sum of the positive odd integers. So 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 11 plus 13 plus 15 plus 17 and so on. Oh, I've forgotten 9. I should not be doing maths at university. <laughs> Plus 9, plus 11, plus 13, plus 15, plus 17, plus... And my whiteboard is falling. Okay, and so on. Right. How I'm going to evaluate this sum here is I'm going to use a similar technique to what Black Pen Red Pen did in his video. It's by grouping terms. So firstly, if I look at these first three terms here, I'm going to bring the 3 out here. And then what I'm left with is 1 plus 5. Well, 1 plus 5 is 6, but it's also 2 times 3. So it's 3 plus 2 times 3. Okay, but that of course is just 3 times 3. Okay, let's look at the next three terms. 7 plus 9 plus 11. 
Let's bring the 9 down here. And then 7 plus 11 is 18, but 18 is 2 times 9. So I get a similar sort of thing here. And 9 plus 2 times 9, that's nothing but 3 times 9. Okay? And same thing goes on here. If I bring the 15 here, then 13 plus 17 is 30, which is 2 times 15. So all in all, this is 3 times 15. And this pattern continues, where I'm getting 3 times a number. But also notice that this right-hand number is increasing by 6 each time. So I get 3 plus 6 is 9, 9 plus 6 is 15, and this continues. Let's clean this up a bit. So I'm going to first factor up the 3 from the front of all of these. I'll put it there, 3. Then I get 3 plus 9 plus 15. And the next one will be 21. The next one will be 27, and so on. Well now, all of these terms here are also divisible by 3, so I can take out another factor of 3. So I get 3 times 3, well 3 divided by 3 is 1, 9 divided by 3 is 3, 15 divided by 3 is 5, 7, 9, okay? Well firstly I can write this 3 times 3 here as 9, but then this thing here is just the sum of the positive odd integers. But remember, we define that to be, nine, uh, so to be r, sorry. So this thing here equals 9r. Okay, so from the 9 out front, and then this thing here is r, by definition. So we've shown that r equals 9r, but if r equals 9r, then subtracting r from both sides gives us 8r equals 0. But then if I divide both sides by 8, I get that r equals 0. So I've shown that the sum of the positive odd integers is 0, which in itself is quite remarkable. But we're not done yet, we're almost done. If we go back to our original question involving s, when we have this formula here, s equals minus r, so you can probably tell what I'm going to do. So s equals minus r, and we just showed that r was equal to 0, so that means that s is minus 0, so s is 0. But remember what s is, it's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus so on. And we've just shown that that equals 0. That is quite remarkable, I feel. Um, you're adding up a bunch of positive terms, and in fact these terms get bigger and bigger. So the, the sort of intuitive thing to believe this is, is infinity, but I've shown it to be zero. Um, obviously though, it's not really zero. I've just uh, played around a bit. Uh, the reason it's not zero, technically, is because this thing here is a divergent series. It goes off to infinity, as we'd expect. But um, the, the reason we got zero, and somewhat validly, is because the, uh, the manipulations and the tricks I used in getting to this line here, I technically weren't valid. I'm not allowed to sort of add infinite series and rearrange terms just like that if the series is not convergent, or not absolutely convergent. But this is clearly divergent. Nonetheless, this is quite a cool result to show that if you add up the positive integers, you get zero. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please consider liking. And if you haven't already, subscribed too. We're almost at 200, well, we're on the road to 200 subscribers. 100 subscribers yesterday. I'm still over the moon about that. But onwards and upwards, 200 subscribers. Anyway, see you next time. Have a great day.